We thank you, God, for sending King Jesus to earth, God, for just saving us for our sins, God. We thank you, God, for just allowing us, God, to live another day, God. We thank you, God, for allowing us to have clothes on our back, food on our table, God. We thank you, God, for our parents, God. We thank you for our children, God. We thank you, God, that you are just God all by yourself, God. We thank you, God, that we just have you, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We pray, God, that you continue, God, to lead and guide us, God. We pray, God, that you continue you, God, to give us godly wisdom, God. And we pray, God, that you continue, God, just to wrap us up in your love, God. We pray, God, for each and every family member 
grow closer to you, God, grow closer near you, God, that you uh, help us to uh, absorb this lesson, God, into our hearts, into our mind, God, that you will allow the Holy Spirit, God, to rest, rule, and abide in our hearts, God. In the name of Jesus is our prayer. Amen. Amen. So let's get started. At the beginning of the book of James, chapter 1 and 2, he talks about being perseverant and becoming a doer. You're wondering, what does perseverant mean? Well, perseverant means to continue of your course of action, even though it may seem hard. So when you have a hard test and you're really getting tired, you want to fall asleep and you don't want to do it anymore, you call on God. God wants you to keep going. Be perseverant in God's work and everything else you're doing. How do you become a doer? When you see somebody out on the street, and they need some food, and you say, go eat, but not give them food, that is not helping them. That does nothing. So you should be the one giving them food. Amen. In, in James chapter three, it goes over taming the tongue and becoming wise. And in James three, it says that we stumble in many ways. And anyone who has never at fault in the way they say things is perfect and able to keep their body in check. The tongue is like a spark, and sparks is how giant wildfires start, which is why we need to be able to control the things we say. Because the tongue holds power. And becoming wise, well... To be truly wise, we must be humble in ourselves and realize that God's wisdom is right and we should follow it. Selfish and envious wisdom is not of God, and selfish ambition leads to disorder. Amen. All of those things are good. And so we also learned in the book of James about being submissive. And being submissive means the, um, the dictionary teaches us that the being submissive means to obey someone or submit to or to, to submit to his will. And the scripture mean, um, from chapter 4, James 4 and 7, it says, Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And it says in uh, verse 8, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. And so it says, being submissive. And when you submit, you submit yourself to God. And that means don't submit to the world. It's a lot of things that we oftentimes tend to submit to. But when you submit to God in all of his ways, he clears a path for you. And what you have to do is lean on him and not on your own understanding. Get godly wisdom and not worldly wisdom. And what that means when you're getting godly wisdom, that means study the word of God. There's a lot of things that God wants you to know about him. There's a lot of things that God uh, is teaching us about him. And so this is the reason why we have Bible study. This is the reason why we go to church. This is the reason why we set time aside to study God's word so we can learn more about him. And being submissive to him is really uh, not having our own desires, but it's having God's desires. So the book of James is teaching us to be more like God and to have more of his characteristics. So um, I hope that as we're playing this, uh, the next video, that you will gather more information, that you will get more godly knowledge from this. So be blessed. Have a great day. Love you. Lessons from the Book of James While God does not tempt you with evil, He will mature you when you face such temptations. While your good deeds will not save you from eternal judgment, they are evidence of a faith in a Saviour who will. Treat both the rich and the poor with the same kindness and love that Christ offers to all. Speak wisely and choose your words with care. They have within them the power to bless and to harm. Wisdom only comes from God above, so you should ask the Lord for wisdom in your efforts to glorify His name. 
Be humble in your dealings with others and strive for peace and unity with them. Give the glory to God for all the good that happens in your life and do not seek to promote yourself. Hello, welcome to Craft Dinner with Tania. And this is Tamara. So today we're going to be making prayer hands. And on these prayer hands, we're going to say what we're thankful for. In Psalms chapter 9, verse 1, it says, I will praise you, O Lord, with all my whole heart. I will tell all of your marvelous works. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a piece of paper. You will need a piece of paper, scissors, and something to write with. So we're going to take this paper, we're going to fold it hamburger style. Like so. So depending on which hand you use, you're gonna make, if you're using your left hand, the crease that you made is gonna be on your left side. If you're using your right hand, the crease that you're gonna that you made is gonna be on your right side. Your pink, you're gonna trace your hand, but your pinky has to be on the crease, okay? And so you're gonna keep your hand closed and you're gonna trace your hand. So you're going to take scissors, you have your scissors? And we're going to cut along the lines, okay? And try not to cut, because uh, you want this to open up. Yeah, I told them which side to So when you're doing this, make sure your pinky part is on the crease so your hands can open up. Very important. So what are you thankful for for Thanksgiving? Well, I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for food and I'm thankful for shelter. What are you thankful for? Uh, I'm thankful, first of all, for God blessing me. Um, I'm thankful for uh, my health, my strength. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my church family. I'm thankful that uh, for my job, I'm thankful for uh, salvation. I'm thankful for uh, not being sick with COVID. I'm thankful for uh, family just coming together. Um, I said thankful for family. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just thankful uh, that no illnesses or death or has come near our dwelling. You see that we have Psalms 91 and we've been praying Psalms 91. So, and we're trusting God that God has been protecting us. So, I'm thankful for all those things that God has provided for us. So I'm so thankful. I'm thankful for all of those things that God has done for us. So, uh, what are you guys thankful for this holiday season? While you think what you're thankful for, I want you to keep that in mind. So we're gonna move on while Miss Tamara is working her thing. So you see that I have my hands, when you open it up, it's praying hands, okay? So on the outside, you can decorate it. You can put the lines, you can make rings, and put knuckles and stuff. And so when you open up, up you remember what you're thankful Ooh, for so nice. you write it inside your hands okay so i'm gonna um we're gonna make some knuckles so y'all can see a uh, example I have knuckles on mine, so it looks like a real hand. And you can decorate it, nails, put nail polish, put some hand art, 
anything's fine, make it yours. And so when you open it up, you're gonna write what you're thankful for and make it pretty, okay? So the whole point is this, is so that you think about what you're thankful for this Thanksgiving break and on Thanksgiving and make sure to talk to God and tell him what you're thankful for and remind him, okay? Mm -hmm. And don't forget to, you can either send your thankful hands, uh, take a picture of it, and you can uh, post it to New D, uh, uh, New D Facebook page, or you can send it to me, uh, Tamara123Me Gmail, and uh, you can just leave it at New D, and we'll make sure that you can, we can see it, or you can send it by group me, uh, New D family, so, because we would like to see it, we would like to show it off, so. Yeah, and tell us what you're thankful for this year. We have so much to be thankful for. God has really blessed us this season, and he's going to continue to bless us. So during this holiday season, uh, hug on someone that you love. Hug on someone that you don't love. No, uh, I was going to say someone that you don't love, but we love everyone. So just hug on someone at a safe distance because we are we are social distancing this year. So hug on them from a safe distance and kiss them from a safe distance. Um, uh, higher what we're doing at this season, either by Zoom or uh, by telephone, but tell someone this season that you love them. Tell someone this season that you are thinking about them. And don't forget to pray for someone that you love, someone that you don't know. Uh, pray for everyone this season. Um, remember that we love you and we're thinking about you and we're praying for you and with you and everyone have a safe Thanksgiving this year okay bye hi guys welcome to another webisode I'm Tamia I'm Daryl I messed up <laughs>